it's kind of an afterthought many times. And just like we're prioritizing skincare, shampoo, things that we're putting on our bodies, we need to be focused on the ingredients in our oral health care products too. Especially since we're literally putting it into our body, sure. not just on the surface of our body. And the first thing I think of is what's in your toothpaste. Does it have SLS or a derivative? Because some, we're all different and some people have more sensitivities and, and will react more to those. Is it from a, a physical injury, like a bite to the gum. But also, and this is off, not on many people's radars, you know, the the mouth is the gateway into the body and the mouth is the gut. I want people to start thinking of it that way. So what happens in the mouth can be a reflection of what's happening in the gut. And so a lot of times when I have patients that come in with recurrent aphthous ulcers or ulcerations, that can be a sign of Crohn's or celiac, um, IBS, like something going on deeper within that we need to be evaluating, food sensitivities, et cetera.